Hello everyone, it's the Upform team over here, and today we're just going to go over Google Forms. Specifically, we're going to go over this really cool add-on called Booking Calendar, where you can basically start having respondents book a time with you, and whatever they answer there will immediately be added to your personal Google Calendar. So, let's just head over to one of our templates. We're going to use the RSVP one we have down here. And since it's an add-on, we do need to head over to the Google Marketplace. So let's hit the three-dot button, go to the add-ons bot button at the bottom, select that, and then just type in booking calendar. Okay, so this is the one we want to check out, which is called booking calendar. We need to install it, continue. And as long as you're happy with all the stipulations, you can just hit allow down here. Now it's just installing, and once it's done, you can just hit done. Now let's head back over to the Google Form itself. So, okay, so we're back, and now we need to, to actually access the add-on. So let's head over to the upper right corner of the website, and then hit the add-ons button, which is the little puzzle piece button. And as you can see, our newly installed add-on will be right here. So let's just select that. Booking calendar, configure booking calendar. And once you've hit the configure button, as you can see, we're immediately brought to this page. So we are going to select the free plan, but just note you do have the option of paying so that you can get unlimited daily bookings. And from here, we're going to save it to our corresponding calendar that's connected to this Google form. Okay, so hit save, hit next, and we're going to create a sync drop down field. Okay, then hit next. Enable submitter's email. Okay, so we can collect their email so that we know which email corresponds to which reservation goes into your event slot. Hit next. Requirements are met. Continue. And as you can see, there's no event currently found, so we have to create one on our calendar. So let's just head over there by adding some events to our calendar. And we've just created an event on our Google Calendar right here. So let's just see if it finally appears on our booking calendar here. Okay, perfect. So right now it does actually register the event. And from this point, we can just, let's just hit that save button. And now the way that this will work is that whenever you add a Google Calendar event, so let's say we're just adding a new title event, and let's just hit RSVP, and then we save it. If we head back to our Google Form and then hit Save, the meeting will now appear here as a free slot on your calendar where you are available for the meeting. So you can add as many as you want. Let's just hit like multiple RSVP. RSVP. So these are all our available times of the events. It'll mark every time you're available. And then once it's all been saved, oh, it's still saving down here. Let's just wait. Okay, it's been saved. Head back. And it's just waiting for a bit since it's referring to our calendar. As you can see now, all our events are appearing right over here. So every time you add an event on your Google Calendar, it'll appear as a free slot for someone to book a meeting with you. And the way that this will look in the preview is like this. So you're to edit the response, head down. The event slots are now down here where they can select from any of these events. Just know that as you can see, my meeting with John Jay ended up appearing here because I do have it as an open event on the Google Calendar. So just take note of that. It might be best to set up a separate Google Calendar aside from your personal one where you start making free event booking options so that it doesn't interfere with your personal calendar. And that's all we really have to say about it. Hopefully this helps you better manage your data collection. Thanks so much for watching our videos. Be sure to like and subscribe. If you need any more help when it comes to Google Forms, check out the rest of our channel using either the link on the upper right corner of this video or any of the links below. See you next time.